I just love this new toy our owner got us for Christmas. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I think it's great. You can push the ball and it just goes round and round on its own never-ending infinity track. Because that's what it looks like, you know. The symbol for infinity, or the number eight, or Nick Nolte's permanent eye expression after plastic surgery. I think it looks more like Amy Winehouse's chest after plastic surgery, which is only one of the reasons I don't plan to touch it. Well, I think it's fun. You think Amy Winehouse's chest is fun? No way. She looks like a kangaroo with two pups in her pouch. I was talking about the infinity track. It's like the Hot Wheels track without all the little cars. And I heard it was such a popular cat toy this year, the stores were selling out faster than a U2 concert. Are you sure you're not confusing this with a Zuzu Pat? Or Tackle Me Elmo? Cause the Infinity Track doesn't really seem like the kind of hot ticket item that would be in demand. Especially since it's gonna be around for, you know, Infinity. I would hate to be around for Infinity. There's just too much pressure to keep up with all the technology. Especially that new Twister thing. I'm pretty sure you mean Twitter, not Twister. No, she actually does mean Twister. We were checking out the game board yesterday trying to figure out how we could possibly get our right paw on a red dot while keeping our left paw on the green. So unless there's some kind of technology that can stretch us that far, we have no other choice but then to be Twister Resistors. Speaking of Twister Resistors, does anyone know whatever happened to Helen Hunt? I haven't seen her in years. Here we go again. You and your conspiracy theories about Helen Hunt. Why don't you just face facts? Mad About You is never coming back, and that's just about as good as it gets. Yeah, well, those Witches of Eastwick aren't coming back either, so you can forget about trying to copy down any of the spells from the show. I liked Eastwick. All those pretty girls with special powers. It reminded me of Katarina Claus and her own magic wand. Which, by the way, has been mysteriously missing of late. Do you know anything about that, Mr. Trey? Hmm. I wonder if it got thrown out with all the Christmas trash. Impossible. Nobody would throw out a magic wand. Unless... Tippy, what's that you got there? A new magic wand? Let me see. Here, trade places. I really don't get what the big deal is about this infinity track. So you can push a ball through this hole and then... Oh, that's sort of cool. But how does it come back? Hey, ball, come back here. Talk, is there some kind of control stick you use for this? Or is there a button or a paddle or something? Because it seems to be a technical malfunction. The ball won't come all the way back. That's because it's a manual toy, Tippy. You have to use your brain's ingenuity and sheer determination in order to propel the ball forward. Which is obviously something that Congress hasn't quite learned how to do yet. Oh, I see. It's really a piece of exercise equipment cleverly disguised as a putrid colored pet toy. Anyway, what's it called? The Green Mile? Another reason I won't go near it. That horrible green color would clash terribly with my orange highlights. Oh. Oh, please. You won't come near it because it's a fitness product, which means you might actually have to move and exert yourself. Still, I don't see the point of this. I mean, what are you really accomplishing? It's not like pushing the ball around the track is going to bring about world peace or stop global warming. It's just a toy, Tippy. Eh? Stop trying to read between the lanes. It's busy work. Like at school, when the teacher gives you something stupid to do so she can go out for a quick smoke. Here, we can play together. I'll push the ball to you, and now you push it back. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that fun? Hmm, seems a little rudimentary and archaic to me. Don't they know we've advanced way past these silly little games uh, for kittens? Uh, sure. So, are you going to roll the ball back yet? What? Oh, here, That's take it. your stupid ball, I don't care. Wait, I didn't push that. You pushed the track, it still counts. This is so dumb. Well, I remember how excited you were when you got this scratching post. Yeah, and now it just sits there, lonely and abandoned, like a high-rise in Detroit.
This is different. Come on, Chippy, give me your paw. No, stop it, Todd. Just give me your paw. Come on, I want to show you something. No, I am not going to give you my paw. Don't you think I recognize the old pull my finger joke when I hear it? Oh, you're no fun. But that's okay, because with this game, I can still play by myself. That's true. And far be it for me to come between you and your rather limited view of infinity. Wait, what are you doing? I was just kidding. The game is much more fun when two cats are playing it. I have some power grooming to do anyway. Poor Tippy. She's so concerned about becoming a star that she's missing out on some of the finer things in life. Like useless distractions. And they may not have a serious point in the bigger scheme of things, but their presence certainly enriches our well-being. And isn't that really the point anyway? <laughs>